This is Shane Davis from Youngstown State University here with Figure It Out Baseball. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about something that I've talked about in my interpersonal communications class. I think it's applicable to coaching, um, directly applicable to coaching. The triangle of meaning. It's a model in theory um, in communication. One thing to keep in mind, um, the idea of communication and communication studies is to explain how, why we interact and try to explain and predict what people do. And that's what theories do and models do. Um, if it were exact, it would be a formula, but it's not exact. But I think there is some really good points in this triangle of meaning that I wanted to share with the coaches out there. The triangle of meaning is a model of communication that indicates the relationship among a thought, a symbol, and a referent. It highlights the indirect relationship between the symbol and the referent. And I'm gonna explain and define these here in a second. In this theory, we have those three things, a thought, a symbol, and a referent. Our thoughts are the concept or an idea that we're trying to reference. The symbol is the actual words we use. Could be written, could be spoken, um, I guess could be through demonstration, but usually it's gonna be spoken or written. Um, and the referent is the object or idea that we're referring to. So giving you a better example and a visual of what I'm talking about here. Imagine a triangle, go figure, right? Um, we have our thought here at the top, and this is as simple as it can be explained. Your thought in this model is, I want a dog. So we come up with a symbol and through our language, dog is D-O-G. That is the symbol. That's our language that we're using to convey our thought. And the referent, um, we could be referring to a dog, an actual dog, and that could be a dachshund, a Jack Russell, a terrier, a mutt, um, Rottweiler, whatever. It is a broad term. And I, you can use it how I did in my class when I brought it up. Think of it as I say dog and I ask people to raise their hands and I ask one person what kind of dog they were thinking of and they said a Rottweiler. And I returned to them, well, I was thinking of a Bichon, which is a little dog like this. There's a big difference between those two types of dogs. It's the same thing we're referring to, but it's different. Where this is gonna to apply to coaching and where I want us to get some advice out of this triangle of meaning is we're forming words, we're coaching our guys up, um, we're using things that may have worked for us for years and years and years, and it's just not getting through with them. Uh, it's important for us to understand that I may have a really good background in kinesiology and the way the body works and anatomy, and I am using terms that the player that I'm working with just does not understand. Um, they don't have the same background I do. You know, I'm using leg as I'm talking about pitching, let's say. I'm saying get on your backside um, and explode through, through your backside. And I'm referring to the entire backside, but that guy's never heard that term before. And he's thinking of literally backside in the, you know, slang term, meaning butt. Um, and that may be a breakdown in our communication. Um, you know, a lot of times you'll hear guys talk about, you know, novice coaches yelling from a dugout to a hitter, stay back, stay back, stay back. And inevitably you have guys that literally stay back where my guess is that coach that's yelling that doesn't necessarily mean for the hitter stay back, but an inexperienced guy that doesn't have that built up schema and the built up experiences of this is what he means takes him literally. So the advice that I'm gonna give is, again, understanding your players, understanding their backgrounds, um, finding ways to relate, and see what kind of meaning they are taking out of what you are telling them. Um, effective communication is huge for coaching, huge for development of your players, um, and it's a lot easier for us as coaches to adjust to what their meanings are for individual things and what their meanings are and the meanings they're taking from what you're saying than asking all of them to understand what you are. Because, you know, frankly, 
a lot of guys aren't going to have the same background that you are. So finding ways to generate a meaning where when I, when I think dog, I get everybody to understand that I am thinking about a Bichon. Um, or if I know that a guy is thinking about Dachshund, I'm going to refer to it in a way, understanding that he's going to think Dachshund, so I am going to communicate with him accordingly. Um, again, this is not something that's going to be um, easy to do. It's not something that is a catch-all, that's a be-all, end-all, but I think this is a concept that if we understand that our words have meaning and it's not always going to be the same for everybody, uh, it's going to help us to be more effective communicators with our players. Once again, this is Shane Davis with Youngstown State University. Thanks for joining me with Figure It Out Baseball.